guys today we will talk about how to create wonderful form for your wordpress website and all that with elementor plugin so we all know that elementor doesn't support multi-step form and uh, they are working on it and by the time if you want to you know get a multi uh, step form on your website so you can use in third party plugin and uh, any add-on and here is the plugin that I'm using for my website it's called Metform and it's a wonderful plugin I would say we have a bunch of different forms uh, that are already on the website as a demo and you can import them and start uh, you know creating your form so I will show you how you can create a one so here I have my elementor and I'll go to the pop-ups I have already installed and enabled the plugin on my website so here is the form that I have created I will show you this one I could show you how to create the new one from the scratch but it could take some time so I am just showing you the one that I have already created on my website so this will give you a glimpse of how it works like I want to capture the name of the person last name and uh, if the person is working in a company or not the person clicks on it the new field is you know all generated and the person can just put the position and here the email address so when the person clicks on next step it asks to first complete the steps on the previous you know uh, steps so just hit something anything okay and then click next step then the person is asked to you know put the event date I it allows you to you know uh, put the duration of the event like 6 to 5 sorry 6 to 15 and the budget maybe this one and number and all that so if I want to create a custom offer and if I want to create a custom offer I click on it and this is the message that I want and then I click the next step and then here comes the message and if the person want to you know if give you my website I want to uh, let them know if they want I don't want to you know um, persuade or instigate or you know forcefully uh, receive reviews from them so there's just an option if they want to review my website so here's the section that I would like to show them and then hit submit so when you create new form here like this one you will go to find make form and put it here right and it will show no content is added yet then you will need to click on here and uh, it will show you the forms already created on your website so i have created few so it will be checked on or you can just create new forms so here the forms already created it took some time to load but there is only one form that i have created so it's showing one and i can create new form from here there are some demo forms that you can just uh, import on the website most of them are from the pro version so I will be using this one this one I have already pro version so I can use this one as well here you can just preview this on the website or just click here write any name and then click edit form for this video I will be showing you to edit the already created form so I will read this row and see how it is created instead so edit form Click on add form will you know uh, redirect to the element to editor where you can edit your form easily. So here are the steps. I will show you the navigator first so that you can easily understand. Here is the first section. I can call it a first uh, step for this purpose. First, second section, and third section. Okay, first section. Here the multi step, here are the detail of the step and icon. And here same with the second third step, right? So 
I can just control the presence of this as in the bar or uh, simple. I have used this as simple in the content, so it was not showing on the website. So here the fields like this submit button, text, email number, and all this the many many fields. And if you use Ultimate Platform Pro, you will find uh, much more fields like here. So uh, here is a text field, again text field, a text field again, and a text field and email field. Okay. Uh, you can just hit on it and show the label as well. Like first name. Okay. Change the name. I want to show you how I created this conditional fields. So here is a field that I created. Your patient company. Here is the name of this field. Okay, I uh, made the field hidden from here, and here the placeholder is showing here. Your patient company in settings. I made it not required. Okay, it is not required. So it is optional. If I make it required and the person leaves it, the next step would not work. Right, so I will need to make it unrequired uh, if I want to work it you know, properly. And here's the logic I'm using make it enable and show this field when NF company. NF company is the name of this field, it is not empty. Okay, it will show when this is not empty, means it is filled with some text or something like uh, then it will show so this is the conditional format for this field and here is the event date this is the field itself date field right and budget number field number mobile number field and here is the button this for switch button okay and this is again a conditional field right uh, is the MF text area conditional logic? First, see the name of this field MF custom. So, the MF custom equals to yes, yes, then it will show show this field. Okay, you can make this hide, this field will be hidden on yes. Maybe I need to update this to work properly. So, let's leave it to here. Okay, and uh, the next thing is your message, and this same way it is created, the same way it is created here. So, in just a matter of seconds, you just create your own multi step form with the WP, WP MET. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel and hit bell icon to get updated whenever we upload new videos. Bye bye.